May Edochie family replies Pete Edochie after he openly supported his son, Yo Edochie. You know, uh, the family of the Edochies and uh, Yo Edochie, you know, I don't know what they take uh, May Edochie for. I don't know whether they, 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 they think that uh, May Edochie does not have a family or probably she doesn't have brothers or even people that are supporting her, people that are ready to take up this particular case. You know, the way uh, Yo Edochie and the Edochie's family have treated her, it's so, so bad. I must tell you for the fact, starting from the way Yo Edochie treated that innocent lady i must tell you it's so bad imagine a lady that sacrificed everything she had and ensured that her she and her marriage uh, with Yolo Deji worked for 18 to 17 years, but she never knew that Yolo Deji, on the other hand, has been cheating on her for 12 good years with uh, one of his Nollywood female colleagues in the person of uh, Judy Austin. So you could imagine, and after making the lady to pass through this kind of uh, mental health and suffering and all that, you know, affecting her mental health and everything, you know, Yolo Deji, still now as I'm talking and making this re video, you know, has refused adamantly to tender his apology to May Edochi. It's not like uh, it's not like this. Uh, uh, May Duche did anything wrong to uh, Yola Duche to deserve this kind of punishment or to deserve this kind of uh, 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 payment or punishment, you know. And a lady that supported Yola Duche in virtually everything that he did, even while they were building the house in Lagos State, May Duche ensured that her money and her savings was a part of that, that particular project, you know. And apart from that, he, she gave birth to lovely children for May Duche. And a lot of people have been wondering, this lady has done virtually everything a good woman, you know, should do. So what else does Yola Duche and the Duche's family want from this uh, lady that they, they're actually treating her this way? And because they're actually taking the ladies... Uh, uh, silence and and, hum, uh, and humility and uh, uh, quietness for granted. You know, some ladies could have actually exploded the internet space with what happened. Some ladies could have even confronted Yola Deji and Judy Austin. But you could see May Deji and how she has actually reacted to this particular case. You know, she has actually kept her cool without, you know, causing any form of uh, troubles or any form of controversy. She has actually moved on and focused on her career. And while she was still focusing on her career, the, the Deji is still, you know, opening fresh wound and pouring salt on uh, this particular problem. And I don't know the, whether they really want that lady to totally go depressed and probably have some issues and, you know, because instead of them to be pampering the lady, send her the apology and even trying to beg the lady, you know, in a way, but they are so proud and full of themselves that they are actually thinking that uh, May Edoche is nobody or probably they can in intimidate her or use force or coerce her or cajole her to accept uh, polygamy when she, when she didn't, uh, you know, um, budget that uh, her marriage would lead to a polygamous one, you know. Because when Yolo Edoche was marrying her or getting married to her, he signed an agreement that it's forever, forever with her and without no other person, you know. So it's actually a full-time betrayer from that uh, uh from Yola Edoche and the family of the Edoche. So he sh they should actually tender the apology to this lady. So recently, Pete Edoche, as we all know, you know, came out in a public interview, you know, to come and defend his son. As you can see on the screen, you know, he was trying to uh, back his son. We understand that Yola Edoche is Pete Edoche's son, son. Definitely, he's going to support him. But at least he could have actually balanced his statement. You know, you could see on the screen what he's saying. He's comparing Yola Edoche to King uh, Solomon. According to him, he said that King, uh, since King Solomon took, married 700 wives and had 300 concubines and still was regarded as a wise man, that uh, he didn't see, he doesn't really see anything wrong in what Yola Edoche did. You know, that uh, as far as uh, he has his decision, he can take up uh, Judy Austin as a wife and take up even even if he wants a third wife, you know, he said all these things without considering, without considering, without considering the the the, the effect of his statement on uh, May Edoche, who never signed off for uh, polygamy, you know, who, who never signed off for anything that has, that has to do with the polygamous, uh, you know, stuff and all that. So you could imagine that insensitive statement made by uh, that lady, that man. But thank God that some celebrities have actually stood up for. Uh, for me, which I must tell you for the facts, some celebrities like Uche Madwago, you know, you know, has actually been on this case and she has actually been supporting this uh, me Edoche for a very long time. So after Peter Edoche made the interview, because a lot of people are afraid to say their mind, but I must tell you that Uche Madwago is a very brave lady, man, and despite the uh, 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 police, the position and the class of Peter Edoche, he's still, you know, berated Peter Edoche and still told Peter Edoche the facts. According to what you can see on the screen, he said, Diami, don't settle for less. You and Papa fit compare, compare him to King Solomon, but Jesus insi insists that polygamy 
an abomination in Christianity. They are free to enjoy their polygamy bag of Enugu rice together. Or basically, Jesus has better plan for you. So you can see that people are coming to the rescue of this uh, lady being the Duche. Even when you go to the comment section and see what people are saying, people are really criticizing Peter Duche for making such odd trans and trying to compare and defend you Duche by bringing King Solomon. And he, he didn't even know that King Solomon never ended well in the Bible. If Christians would understand better how King Solomon ended because of the multiple wives he married and for, for, for the multiple atrocities he committed. Even at the end of the day, King Solomon said that everything was vanity upon vanity because he regretted his actions of doing those things, you know. So I think the Duchess should equally know that Christianity in the modern era doesn't support polygamy. Even Jesus Christ being the head of the church doesn't support such things. So he should actually, you know, uh, retract that statement and actually find a way to, you know, pamper and at least you know, beg me uh, with his son, you get the for he had to uh, forgive him and probably find a way to, you know, uh, strike a balance in this particular case. Well, I like you guys to drop your comments in the comment section and tell me what exactly do you think about this entire.